guys, happy Wednesday. Hope your week's going well. Uh, today I'd like to share with you a topic that's been on my mind this week. And as most of you know, most of you know, some of the Grace Fellowship youth and adults went to Winterfest this weekend. It was such a blessing to be able to worship together. We saw many lives impacted and changed throughout the stadium and in our own group. And as I began to think and pray about what to talk about this evening, I kept thinking about how people lose their flames. You see, we have these times where we pour our hearts out to the Lord and become renewed and refreshed. We get this fire sparked inside us and are ready to take on the world through the power of Jesus Christ. After days and weeks pass, sometimes the fire dies out. My question would be, what fuels your fire? Have you ever seen someone start a fire by a propane tank? In my house, we have a gas log fireplace that's fueled by pro propane. Every once in a while, our propane tank gets low and our the propane company comes and fills the tank uh, so that we'll always have fire. We can think of this as an example of our own hearts. When we allow the Lord to come fill our spiritual propane tank, we're full of him and his love. But we try to live life as much as we can on that one tank of propane. Eventually, we're going to run out of fuel and become weak. We need to be constantly fueled by the power of God. You might ask, well, how do we keep our fires from becoming weak? A verse that comes to my mind when thinking of being strong in the Lord would be Isaiah 40, 28 30, through 31. And it says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and the young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will walk and not grow weary. They will run. Run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So we must hope in the Lord because those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Another verse that comes to mind is Matthew 6, 33 and 34. And it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. If we seek the Lord first, then we won't be focused on the things around us. We won't be spending our time worrying about what's happening tomorrow, because our hearts and minds will be set on Jesus. When you hand all your worries to Jesus and are living for him, it's easy to have a fuel fire. You're constantly feeding your fire with things of the Lord, so it will stay big and strong. If you stop fueling your fire and start polluting it with things of this world, your fire will die. I encourage you this week and all the weeks of your life to read your Bible, to grow in Him, come to church on Sundays and Wednesdays, listen to music that lifts, uplifts the name of Jesus, and spend time talking to him daily. You grow close to someone by spending time with them and getting to know them better. If you spend time with the Lord, you'll get to know him better. Fuel your fire so that others can see Jesus in you. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for all of your many blessings that you've given us in life. Thank you, Lord, that we have the opportunity to be to serve you. And Lord, I just ask that you would allow us to fuel our fires daily by diving into your word and learning more about you. Lord, I just ask that you would bless us week and help us to have a great rest of the week. In Jesus' name, I
I pray. Amen. Thank you guys. I love you. See you Sunday.